What's up, everybody? And welcome back to Flicking on My Big Hair, where I bring you the beauty juice and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, y'all, super excited back with another video. This is episode five of Flicking on My Big Podcast with a little twist, okay? Um, yeah, so I do have a podcast, but I also do tarot readings as well. And season two was actually put on hold because Corona came in and did what it do. Everybody was going crazy. And so um, season two was interviews with entrepreneurs, artists, you know, all types of different people. But because of that, I put it on hold, Corona and all that, I put it on hold and I started season three, which is Zodiac Intuition, where I will be doing tarot, important a tarot reading into the podcast. So we're going to do a little bit of talking, you know, getting spiritually, getting ourselves spiritually together. Okay. And um, yeah, I just wanted to find a way to incorporate my podcast and my tarot readings together since I do them both. Um, yes, if you do want to see a reading on your zodiac sign, you can also go to my YouTube channel, which is Desiree A C D E S I R E E capital A capital C, or you can find a couple little snippets here and there on my Instagram channel, Desi B C, or you can go to Flicking on my Bic on Instagram and Desiree AC on Facebook as well and just get little snippets and on YouTube I have three different videos on there so yes but I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio so Scorpio this podcast slash tarot reading is for you okay now before we even get started like honestly statistically, zodiacally, however you want to deem it, we are least compatible energies together, Aquarius to Scorpios. And I, I, I understand to an extent, and it's crazy because me and my daughter's father, we really genuinely like don't get along with each other. And it wasn't until later I found out he was a Scorpio. That doesn't mean anything for everybody else, but just my energy when I come into contact with Scorpios is just, it's kind of like, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? But I do know some Scorpio men and women who are dynamite, phenomenal people as well. So it's a little bit of both. You know, it can go both ways, but I don't know. Scorpios, y'all just, y'all just different. Y'all just different. And then if you also go in there, I do like a cork. I did a, a 60, 60 second zodiac series and what was the court to your zodiac and so for scorpio i feel like every time i see a scorpio they got shades on or they wearing shades you know kind of like drake when I, you, he don't always wear them but a lot of time when you see him he he spends a lot of his time with glasses on you know with shades on or whatever so i don't know it's just something about shades in a scorpio and it's you know, not no coincidence that they're very secretive. It doesn't mean that they are deceptive. They can be that as well, but they're very secretive. So they hold in more than they release. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody is genetically, biologically built differently. So, you know, it is what it is. But yes, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get into your reading. And then after that, y'all, we're going to be reading a little insert from this astrology book. It's called In Focus, Your Personal God, and it's by um, an author named Sasha Fenton, Sasha Fenton or Sasha Fenton, however it was supposed to be pronounced. My apologies if I messed it up, but um, I'm going to read a little insert and tell you a little bit more about yourself. Okay, Scorpio? So yes, I'm going to put my biased feelings to the side, and yeah, we we, we going to get this going. So yes, this will be a general reading, so please understand this will not apply to every single Scorpio that may come across this video, okay? So cross watchers, if you are watching and you do hear something, if it don't relate to you, don't make your situation that, like, if your girl ain't cheating or your dude ain't cheating, 
don't make the reading seem like he's cheating if he's not just because you saw it on the reading you know what i'm saying just you know evaluate your own and you know your own situation and you make proper discernment that way okay so yes cross watchers you're more than welcome please utilize this information to the most positive purpose okay and spirit be wanting me to talk to y'all i'm like spiritually obligated to do this like i was led here like i did i had no idea that i was going to be doing this and the messages are generally re relayed to somebody that needs it you know what i'm saying somebody that got something going on with themselves so yes i will be talking to you all with four different decks um we got the light sears tarot deck i actually really love the illustration for this it's it's super dope like for real if you ever want to do tarot reading or if you just want to get educational with your own self okay this card these cards here is the romance angel oracle cards okay and this tells more about love and a little bit of finances family other little things in between there but this is more left more more or less for love okay we also have here the moonology oracle card deck i actually really love these this isn't the actual tarot but it gives like emotional purpose emo emotional foundation to the reading and then we have uh one of my favorites the modern witch tarot deck and um i actually really really love this deck more or less because there is a woman of color in the front and she looks chocolate you know what i'm saying and she got the two the two uh doodoo balls the giant doodoo -doo balls the meatballs okay vegan style on top of her head i love it like i love it and look at that smooth skin honey yes so i really really do appreciate this deck and it actually has a lot of characters that are of color as well so i really really like that about this deck most decks that you see don't have that and then i want to go ahead and just throw out just because i'm not trying to be funny fancy or nothing like that but these are all more of the popular decks that i know about um all of these decks are used by some of the best readers or people that do read some of the more popular readers um have these decks you know i don't believe i have a deck and then i have one two three four five six um other six other decks that I use or incorporate in some of my readings just depending on how I'm trying to read or when I'm trying to read or you know whatever the case is but all of the decks that I have are fairly popular which I'm not downplaying anybody's deck or whatever I just like um what's popular and I'm actually creating my own right now so yes like can't wait for that but um yes I will be reading to you guys with these four decks and without further ado scorpio let's go i'm actually really kind of happy to be reading for y'all get over my i don't have a fear it's like my irritation i guess like when i think about scorpio sometimes i'm just like uh do i really want to and like i said past experiences have led me to feel like that so it's not all Scorpio, okay? It's just Scorpio, the, the, the experiences that I've had with Scorpio people. Um, I've just kind of thrown my energy off in whatever way that means, you know. So I usually take three of these and we'll go from there, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe you just doing stuff right now. You just, just throwing stuff together or just doing just doing but you don't really have a plan it's like i'm gonna do my work when i get to it but it's not there's a, no structure but for me that's kind of that's kind of weird because i thought from what i know scorpios are very like disciplined structured in a sense more disciplined i guess yeah luck is on your side are you feeling lucky? If not, maybe you will be. Mm -hmm. 
All right, last one. A new start is coming. See, your dreams need a practical plan. Luck is on your side. And a new start is coming. So I feel like maybe um, before this new start, maybe you need to get your get yourself together first so that when this start does come, you're more prepared than not. You know what I'm saying? You, you never know. And see, your hard work is paying off. Is at the bottom of the deck here. So I'm sure you're going to do it. You know, it's just maybe you need a new way of how you deal with certain situations. I like keeping mine in order too. So, so now we're going to go in with um, an angel romance. Romance angel. And I keep all my stuff in a box because I don't like my stuff outside of the box and messed up and stuff. So, um, yes. See, Scorpio. All right. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependency. 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 Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Hold on, y'all. Shoo! Excuse me. For anybody who thought to say excuse me or, or was, thank you. I appreciate that. If not, just throwing it out there. Okay. Yes, we're going in with the modern tarot. Modern witch tarot deck. Oh, this deck is so... I love it. The illustration is really dope on this too. And it's... Ooh, y'all jumping out. Okay, let's see. Right now, you got fast, fast movement towards something maybe you got fast movement towards your your practical plan but you feel trapped and you feel stuck we have the knight of swords the eight of swords and the hangman so you're feeling stuck about something you feeling trapped like maybe you can't move out of your situation oh okay with this king of pentacles in reverse so you're dealing with someone who's um probably uh, you know what i'm getting i'm getting a married couple and both of y'all make money or a relationship where both make money and or a relationship where both of y'all are making money but somebody one person makes more money than the other so scorpio you may make more money or the person you're with may make more money and that's where that codependency is either you're hanging on to that person or that person is hanging on to you and again this don't have to be a romantic relationship this could be a family relationship you could have a friend or you know maybe maybe somebody that you know you know I don't know, somebody that you would do favors for or somebody that would do favors for you, more or less in a sense. And I feel like it's like you're you're making a plan, you're going to it quick, you know, but you're feeling stuck. That's probably why your dreams need a pl practical plan because you, you, you're stuck. And if you're stuck, you can't do what's practical. You might do what's out of sort. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like currently right now, yeah, you're just, it's like, Maybe you know something, but there's fast movement towards something. But you're just, you're feeling stuck. You got that eight of swords and the hangman. And it's with this person. But we have the judgment. Maybe you're seeing things for what they truly are. Maybe you're seeing this situation for what it truly is. With this Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with is like 
of equal stature to you. Maybe they make a certain amount of money that you make or right around it. It's like, I guess I want to say, I feel like you balance each other out in a sense, but it's like, you're feeling stuck in this situation. And it's like, you're quickly, it's like, you're quickly trying to go away from it. I feel like you're quickly trying to get away from it. It's like you, you, you kind of know that you want to get away from it, but you feel stuck. Maybe you feel you feel you feel stuck with this person. Maybe they don't have it all like they proclaim or they you know what? Because Scorpios, I feel like do have a tendency of sometimes doing that, living a life, making things seem like they're something that they're actually not. You know what I'm saying? Like living above your means. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what I'm getting here because we got the king of pentacles. And Pentacles, <laughs> excuse me, hold on, let me grab my orange juice. Yes, and um, Pentacles deals with something of value, whether that be money, whether it be, you know, family, it could be a material possession. Just something of value but i'm getting it's it's um it's from a person i feel like this is a, a romantic relationship but this is odd it's just kind of like a relationship it's like you done i feel like you done you don't want to it's like i don't i don't really i'm not in this no more but i kind of got too much invested with this queen of swords like I got too much invested, you know, she might be a good person and all, but, or he might be a good person and all, but, you know, I think one person is probably leaning on the other person because one person feels like you have more money than me. But I feel like in this particular situation, you feeling stuck, Scorpio, because you probably aren't the breadwinner. I don't really know how Scorpios are with their finances, but I do know that they do have a tendency to sometimes live above their means or give the impression that they have or live a lifestyle that they actually don't live, you know? So, and when you think about it, Drake, yes, he acts like he is just this go hard in a street thug, but that can't be because, you know, he used his mama's, debit card to go buy gucci or something okay back when he was like in, in in high school or something like that so i don't really know people in the hood that could just use their mama credit card for no shit like that you know what i'm saying so it's just kind of like that you know what i'm saying i think whoever it is that you're dealing with probably has the money probably has a little bit more in their bag you know what i'm saying it's kind of like the vibe i'm getting let's see And see, Scorpio's secretive too. They don't, they don't really like to talk. They don't really like to share their business. It's like, nah. Got the Knight of Pentacles. So you feel like you losing something. You losing something being with this person. You feel like maybe you losing your your I don't I wouldn't necessarily you can say like your family, but I feel like you feel like you're you're just slowly but surely losing. Maybe you could be you could be even losing energy. You know what I'm saying? You could just be tired, you know, feeling stuck mentally can 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 make the body wore out, you know, because it can make you think you more tired than you now or make you not think you you tired, but you really are, you know what I'm saying? And so, and I'm literally just kind of like getting over having headaches and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's possible that this situation is, is, is causing you headaches, but you really feel like you losing out and see judgment. And right under that judgment card, we got the moon in reverse. So something is going to come to light. Something is going to be exposed. Something is going to be seen. Something that might be hidden right now, or it may have happened already. You know what I'm saying? Past 
present, future, anything in this world, any scenario can be. So you just never know. This might be specifically for you. Okay. But yeah, we got this moon, y'all, um, in reverse. And yeah. Something, something about to come out. What is it? About the family. Ten of Cups. You about to express something or something is about to come out, I feel like, with the family. Something is about to happen. Something. Something with the family is about to be exposed or you about to get some type of, you about to get some type of truth. Okay? And as we de dig deeper into this tarot reading okay as we dig and i because i kind of want y'all to see the cards too but as we dig deep into this tarot reading y'all let's see what is going on with the squirps what's going on with the squirps what's going on with the squirps I love these cards too. All right, Scorpios. Ooh, first card, we got two actually. See, we got the Magician in reverse and we also got the Six of Wands. So something is being hid here. Some type of maybe a creativity, but there's something being hidden that needs to come out or that will be expressed. Maybe it's a crea creativity, maybe it's some type of truth, but with this magician card here, it's some type of deception being, it's some type some type of deception. Oh, all oh, y'all. Okay, so look, this six of wands could literally mean one or two things. It could mean like fame, like, like you're famous or something being seen, something being exposed, maybe you being looked at, something along that nature of lines, okay, that lines of nature, whichever. But you see how this is a, a, a card of fame and then this magician in reverse is like a card of deception. You remember, and when I see these two cards together, I think Drake, I think the entertainment industry, you get the exposure, but there's deception behind what's seen and what's not being seen. Because we really don't know all of what's being seen. Scorpios, y'all be very secretive. So I know one of y'all know what this is about. I know one of y'all know what this is about. And when I pull both of these cards, I get, I get the Drake scenario, okay? Like maybe y'all are trying to be seen as something that you're not, and you're being deceptive in your creativity. You know what I'm saying? That's never good. That's never good, y'all. You don't have to do that. Like, let me pull one more before. See, two of wands. You're making a decision. It's hard to make a decision. You in between two ideas. It's like, if I do, if I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. So what is this Knight of Swords? What are you going quickly to? What what is your thoughts? What are your thoughts? King is uh, Knight of Swords is a to me it's like a, a a it's going towards something with passion, you know, running towards it quickly, swift movement to an idea maybe. Um, what are you moving swiftly to? Emotional um, stability. Maybe you're trying to get a, a, a more emotional balance, I feel like. King of Cups is a card of like emotions, balancing them or imbalanced. You know? So I'm guessing, and it, it's a thought, you know what I'm saying? So an emotional thought, maybe you want to be more emotionally balanced. Maybe you're not getting that emotional balance that you seek so is that why you're feeling stuck what is this ace of swords you're feeling stuck about something you're feeling stuck about something let's 
Let's see, Scorpio. What is y'all feeling stuck about? Being judged. Being judged. I feel like you all are the type, you're a... Uh, Scorpio is a water sign. So I feel like that is more of like an emotional based sign. Water, you got the waves, it's wet, it just tears. You know, it's a natural happening, but I feel it to be like something of very heavy emotion. You know, a hard wave. It's beautiful, but it's like it teaches you. You know, it just is some discipline in there a little bit. It's just some secrecy. What's under the water? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you're trying to get yourself together emotionally because you might not like how you're being viewed. You know, you might want more people to look at you in a different light. But the thing is, it will never happen if you're portraying yourself to be something that you're not like it'll it's just not going to go right because you're not in your natural state when you get to a point to where you're in your natural state and you don't really care you can sit here all day and say oh i i don't care what people think of me yeah you do because if you didn't if you didn't care then you wouldn't have to be secretive you wouldn't have to sneak you wouldn't have to feel like you know what I'm saying? You have to hide behind shades. You wouldn't feel like you have to do any of that. You know, I think people get so accustomed to saying and doing that, that they believe that this is how it's supposed to be. If I, if I act like I got more money than I do, you know, but it's a lie and you are lying to yourself when you know, you don't have the money and you still go out here portraying, even if you don't, maybe you might go and buy some fake Gucci glasses. Maybe you might go out and buy a, a fake, a fake Dulce bottle of, of alcohol. I think they be making fake alcohol out here, you know, whatever. Um, synthetic alcohol and shit wouldn't be surprised. That's why everybody out here tripping. I don't know where that came from, but I'm just saying like, you're you're it, it doesn't matter how you look at it you're literally lying to yourself because you know that this is not you you know i don't want to do this i don't feel good about doing this you know and the people you know who feel they need to prove something to people are the ones that do things like this they they act like they have more than what they have and you know they'll be driving around in a in a in a in a bmw or benz in a car not even theirs you know what i'm saying you know wearing like i said a gucci belt gucci shoes and they fake you didn't actually buy them from the gucci store or like a high level gucci selling place you literally bought that joint off canal street in new york if they even still doing that down there what y'all know about it <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Look up about Canal Street. If you if you want to live the high life, the low budget way, go down there and get you a fake Prada, get you a fake a fake Gucci, a fake Michael Kors, a Michael Tours. Okay, get you a whatever, a a, a Bulgari or whatever the fuck they be calling all of that shit. All of them weak ass damn designer bags. It's just crazy. You know, y'all paying all of this money for something that's not even yours. It's not your idea. It's nothing you came up with. And you know what? I've de I've just made the decision in my life that when I want things that I, I, I like, why not make the conscious effort to make it myself or to have my own? Like my whole goal in life is to have everything I want my way. You know, the things that we do have out here. For instance, these cards, for example, I'm a tarot reader. I am a certified spirit guide. You know what I'm saying? And so one of the jobs that I've occurred is creating my own debt because I want my own debt. I don't want to just be using every everybody else's Chris Ann, okay? The 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 maker of this light sears tarot deck. This is a beautiful tarot deck. It's lovely. It's it's different. It's gorgeous. It has so much meaning, but it's nice. I want my own though. I want my own tarot cards. I want my own, that have my own meaning, that have my own design. You know, shout out to Brunel, Brunel Jackson, 
okay follow him on instagram one of my barbers and then like uh my my brother-in-law my best friend's husband he's a leo and he's super dope with art he does tattoos he's a barber you know what i'm saying but he's helping me you know with the detailing and stuff and just the mere fact that we're creating my own tarot deck you know what i'm saying these tarot decks especially like the one by chris chris uh chris ann or whatever her deck is being used by a lot of people her deck is being used by a lot of people this is a popular deck and that is what i want to do you know what i'm saying but the point i'm trying to make is that want your own stuff y'all be so busy trying to floss and and live this life that's really not yours live your own authentic life people oh i don't want to get no jacket out of walmart i got me a jacket out of walmart and it's super dope and i don't even care you know i rather have a bag that don't have no name on it but it's cute you know why because if people don't know what it is they're gonna ask me that means it's drawing attention okay i'll give you a story real quick since this is a podcast let's talk i have this little bag it's black and white it's real cute it's a black and white little bag just a little snap open it got a a, a golden um handle on it a golden little metal handle on it or whatever it's a cute little bag or whatever and the chain on it go so it's gold black white but it's really really cute or whatever so i'm out to to on this date with this other aquarius guy or whatever and aquarius if one of y'all is watching i don't know why they say that's the best relationship i don't believe that but that's only due to my experiences but anyway so the guy that i'm with he has on what is a seemingly expensive jacket we went to this restaurant that was like super high class or whatever and for me i'm not really i like nice things but not to the point to where you know what i'm saying i have to change who i am to get it or to be around it but he was one of those keeping up with the joneses you know what i'm saying and so the restaurant where we went into um there was a family that sat next to us a white guy a white woman and their daughter or that's how it looked and when we were coming in we saw this nice corvette and it was parked right in the front valet you know that's that that's they spot that's where they they they, they do this all the time okay got that corvette in the front looking like you know it's on the showroom floor of the restaurant you know looking like it, it it's their house it's a it was like a big like it looked like an opera an opera room on the inside and the 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 waiters were dressed up i'm talking about dressed up suit and tie looking like alfred from batman and shit like it was that type of place so he had on um what you call them little jackets or whatever like a blazer he had on like a blazer or whatever and the the white dude had on pretty much kind of like the same blazer that he had but see the difference is the dude that i was with he liked the thrift shop so the jacket the little blazer that he had he didn't really pay that much for it but this is the thing while we sitting at the table i was you know we were talking we got into a little disagreement over something right and so as the couple and a white and a girl was leaving the couple and the daughter was leaving the dude looked at my purse and he was like that's a really nice bag young lady and i said oh well thank you and he was like don't ever sell that bag you never know you may make a fortune i know what on earth he was talking to because the bag was slightly beat up but i didn't even care you know what i'm saying but look and so i was just kind of like wow and so then he was like so did you get that and i was like yeah like he told me don't ever sell my bag because you know what i'm saying I, he was like nah you didn't see that and i was like see what and he was like the jacket he had on it looked just like mine how much do you think he paid for that jacket i was like probably a lot of money and he was like and how much do you think i paid for mine i was like probably not as much money as he did he was like no my jacket was four dollars at the thrift store he probably paid hundreds for that so you know what that means that means that i can be dressed the same way and engage the same way and be in the same place 
as that wealthy man there. And so in my mind, I'm just kind of like, okay, first of all, you don't have a Corvette in front of the building. Okay, you didn't even pay for valet. So we parked and walked. Now, granted, you had a, a charger and it looked like a 2010 charger, but I'm just kind of like, okay, but you didn't even park that charger in valet. So my thing is you can go, there are people that live in Beverly Hills. If I drive around in Beverly Hills, that don't make me a resident of, that don't mean I got money like people in Beverly Hills just because I was able to afford to fly to California and I just so happened to go through Beverly Hills. I even, I actually did go to Beverly Hills when I went to California previously and I stayed in a motherfucking, a, a Beverly Hills hotel. My hotel room was in Beverly Hills and it was not, and it was not cheap. On top of that, I stayed in a penthouse suite. Like I literally did stay in a penthouse suite, like, but I'm not telling people, oh, I've met Oprah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not over exaggerating the lifestyle that I actually was living. Like I'm not telling people, oh my God, I was in shopping with Paris Hilton and Beverly Hills who happens to be an Aquarius, you know, whatever. But just saying, you know, I don't be telling people, oh yeah, I be out in California all of the time. You know, I'll be out there shopping with Paris Hilton and Beverly Hills, always be in Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't do that. I'm not living above my means. I'm not trying to be this person. I'm not. I was grateful enough. I was fortunate enough to be able to have the funds to be able to go to California and funny enough, just end up in Beverly Hills. Okay. in in a nice area. So my point is, when you live a lifestyle that you know, you probably, your conscious probably is like, nigga, you know, that's not you. Like, you know, that's not you. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you feel that adrenaline rush to do something so somebody can quickly look at you, that's what it's about. Okay. Had to take a quick little detour from that. Let's see what this hangman is. Okay. A foolish risk. You took a foolish risk and you stuck. I feel like maybe somebody cheated. Somebody might've stepped out of their relationship because that that's the only risk that I see could possibly be, unless there's something that I haven't thought about, whatever it is that I haven't thought about. But let's see, what is this? What is this fool in reverse? What is this uh, risk? Strength. Keeping a, keeping a, keeping your strength or keeping, keeping a family together or keeping a, keeping a relationship together. You took a foolish risk trying to keep a relationship together or maybe you put on a, you put the, I feel like you put on the facade and you did not fulfill the life that you claim to live. And now that you're in a relationship with somebody, maybe it's not going right. Now it's not going right because you didn't live your purpose. It's not necessarily them. It could be them, but I feel like this is you and this isn't my biasness or this might be my biasness you know, towards Scorpio only because the thing is I have an issue with Scorpio because I've experienced them do certain things. And this equation right here, it just seems like the situations that I had currently been in with these types of energies. I'm one of those people, I'm an Aquarius. So I take in a lot of information. On top of that, I am Virgo moon. Okay. So I'm double taking in information. That's all I do is taking information. My main, my primary, my sun and my moon sign are Aquarius and Virgo. Aquarius is the, the first, is said to be the smartest out of the Zodiac and Virgo is the second smartest out of the Zodiac. And Virgo more than Aquarius likes to take in information of any kind. Whereas Aquarius likes to be creative 
likes to create with that information, you know? So it's just kind of like I've, I'm uncomfortable when I'm around Scorpios because they have a tendency to act the same, just like Capricorns have a tendency to act the same, just like Aquarius have the tendency to act the same, okay? Taurus people love to eat. When you meet Taurus people, they love to eat. Now, anybody can love to eat, but a lot of people that you meet that love to eat generally tend to be Tauruses. And you'll just be like, damn, I know that you love to eat. What's your sign? I'm Taurus. Girl, you love to eat. I know I'm Taurus, you know. And then you'd be like, damn. And it's not, it's not something like, oh, everybody can do it, but no. You know, it's just one of those situations. And I feel like Scorpio, y'all just right now, I feel like y'all probably put on this facade and maybe somebody challenged you to that. Maybe somebody challenged you to upholding that kind of lifestyle. What is this King of Pentacles? Options. See, maybe you, I feel like somebody probably stepped out. You, you stepped out on this King of Pentacles to get some more options. Maybe because they found out. I feel like maybe they found out that you, you know what, you're not, you're not this person. You're not this person that you claim to be. And now that you stuck, now that you stuck in that relationship, now you trying to seek other options because now that you done been found out, the person you with is now probably acting different. And I don't blame them. And it can go either way. You know what I'm saying? It can go either way. It might not be you. It might be you found out about them and maybe they went after some options, but I don't feel like it's them. I feel like it's Scorpio. And something else about Scorpio, they always say y'all are the biggest cheaters. I don't think that is. It's like Scorpios be the people, if they don't, they're the, the look but don't touch. Even if they don't act on, they're still at least looking. You know what I'm saying? Type of people. So they may not, you may not have acted. See that? Judgment third party third party this card flipped out third party i didn't look for i ain't do none of that and y'all can look at this video and see third party you stepped out because you got found out or this person whoever you was with was like listen i'm seeing that you're not really doing the shit that you said you're not really acting the way you portrayed and now i feel duped I feel jipped because now we got a family. Now we got a car. Now we got a house. Now we got all of this stuff and you tripping. So while you tripping, I'm going to go over here and cool off. And what do you do? You go and you step out. <laughs> See? See? Hurt, pain. Hurt, pain, that three of swords, right in the middle. Look at that, right in the middle. Right in the middle of this reading. Right in the middle of this reading. Right in the middle of this reading. Three of swords, stab, third party, somebody else, somebody else, options. What is this king, of, the queen of swords? King of Pentacles, your lover, whoever this person is, the person who, the person who you with that match you. They either match you or they got more than you. I feel like whoever this person is probably got more money than you, but they probably childish. You know what I'm saying? Or they're not really as adult like you think they are. I feel like I'm kind of getting that. Like whoever you dealing with is not as much of an adult. Let's see what else. And see, it's not gonna go in your favor. You and whoever this person is, it's not going to go in your favor. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, I, I made a quick attempt to get with you and I got you by putting on this facade that I was living this life, that I was this person and you really not being that. If you not a gangster and you get put in a gangster situation, you can't expect to have a gangster ass outcome. 
Okay. Let me let, let am I saying that right? If you portray yourself to be a gangster, you know what I'm saying, or a thug, or a homie, or whatever, okay, or or, or, or a nigga with money, and or a chick with money, whatever, it go both ways. So if you portray yourself, you be flexing, you be doing that, and then you get with somebody, and they like, okay, what's going on? Let's go out to eat, and you trying to go somewhere like Olive Garden. Or you trying to go somewhere like 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 Denny's? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh, you got all of this money, you couldn't take me to Grand Lux, you couldn't take me to the Magic Time Machine, nigga, you couldn't even take me to Hooters. And they got a bomb sangria, by the way. <laughs> I might have to go and get one. But um, whatever it is, it's not in your favor with whoever you're with. It's not gonna go in your favor. What is it that you losing with this Knight of Pentacles? What are you losing? What are you losing? Let's see what you losing. You losing sleep. You need to detach mentally. You lose. It's like just you need a mental release. You tired of thinking. You tired of. You just need to mentally disconnect. I feel like from whoever this person is. You feel like you're losing. That's why I said it could be energy. You might be feeling like you burnt out. You might be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? You just don't have enough energy. You just need to completely disconnect, at least for a little while. What is this moon in reverse? What, what's about to come to light? What's coming to light or what done already came to light? Or what is currently <laughs> coming to light? Something is happening as we speak. Okay, so... No communication coming through. So it's like no communication. Y'all aren't connecting. You're going to, I guess, it's going to be communicated or it's not communicated that you're not passionate about this person no more. Yep, six of swords in reverse. Like you're not passionate about this person no more. And it's like you're not trying to communicate it. You having a hard time transitioning, making a change, moving on. You having a hard time doing it. You know what I'm saying? You have a very you're having a very hard time. You're struggling. And them options wasn't 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 helping you. It only helped you sexually. It didn't help you or might have even helped you financially and sexually, but it was of no benefit to you. It wasn't no benefit to you. What is this Ten of Cups when it has to do with family and fulfillment? Full fulfillment, having it all. You want to rebirth. You want to end this and start somewhere else. <laughs> AKA them choices, right? Mm -hmm. You want to end this? See? Oh my God. Y'all. Y'all. How do we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups? One above, one below. One upright, one downright down left whatever <laughs> one up one down with this rebirth that means you don't want the rebirth you want to end it's like you want to end this cycle it's like you want to end hold on you want to end this cycle to start this one maybe you started like this and now it's and now it's ending you know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you need a rebirth, but we got two king, we got two tens of cups, ten, ten, one upright and one in reverse. That is crazy. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I can't make this up, y'all. You don't want a rebirth. You want it to die, and then you want to move on to something else. You want it to go down and then move on to something else. See? See, Scorpio, 
It's either you or it's them, but I feel like it's you. I know it's you because the reading is for you, not them. They're just enhancing this reading. <laughs> but this is your reading for my Scorpio. So you and you know, hold on, see? You know it's a lot. Ten of Wands. You know it's too much weight on your back. You know it's too much weight on your back. You notice this, this Ten of Cups relationship is too much weight on your back. Why is it too much weight on your back? Maybe because you you try to portray yourself to be something that you really weren't and it, it got to be too much. Maybe the person that you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, found out about how you were and maybe not may not be responding to it well you know what i'm saying now they now they gotta and, and the thing is scorpio we have to learn to take responsibility for the things that we do and that's anybody but a lot of times people don't always do that you know what i'm saying people do not always do that and unfortunately it puts us in negative situations okay what is this magician in reverse Yep, deceptive about the person that you are. Like you want to be this king of swords. You want to be this king of swords. You want to be the man that everybody or woman, you want to be that person that everybody come to it for advice. You want to be that person that look like they have it all together. You want it to look like you to do, you, you chill. You know, you cool, you chill, you got everything. People come to you, you know, you, you probably look good and you know, built nice or, you know, whatever. And you want people to view you as that. But the truth is, that's really not you. Like, you really don't have it. And I guess you think because you've been doing it for so long, but that's the problem. You've been lying to yourself for so long. And it might be from past experiences that you haven't been able to catch up with. But you're being deceptive about who you are. You're being deceptive about who you are. And you're in competition. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you in competition with people. You in, you in competition with people. Like everything is a competition for you. Everything is a competition. You got to look good. You got to have the best this. You got to have the best that. And you don't have that. So you keep up this, this facade, you know, that this is who you are. And the thing is like, I'm not trying to be biased, but I know Scorpios to be like this. And this is exactly why the chemistry, if you look astrologically or zodiacally, but when you look at the chemistry of a, a Scorpio and an Aquarius, we're very intuitive. Aquarius people are very intuitive. And we're also, we also do tend to be empaths. So we can feel the energies of people. It's like when you walk into a room. Or like, let's say, let's say you at a, you at a party and it's a couple of people that's kind of like laughing and you might see them look in your direction or they might look at you and then look down or whatever, but they kind of laughing, like sneakily laughing and you get the feeling that they talk about you. And then you find out later on, you, you done ended up fighting somebody by the end of the night because they were talking about you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you, 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 you probably see people that have things and you really don't know how they got them. So now you want to portray yourself as that person until you get there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Three of Pentacles means competition. What do you, let's see, what is this Six of Wands? What do you, what do you, it's like, I feel like I know, but it's like Six of Wands. It's like, being famous I, I get that that's my drake card when i see six of wands i think drake you know when i see six of wands i think drake just like putting on this facade you know and drake is a scorpio <laughs> so you know what i'm saying it wouldn't surprise me but in that entertainment industry they all be putting on facades you know what I'm saying? What's his name? Rick Ross, do it best. You know, we all know his story. But, ooh, ooh, okay, hold on. Yeah, we all know his story. So, it's not, it's not unlikely, but the Six of Wands, 
your will, your power, the drive that you have. Like I said, I feel like this is a kind of like a, I'm a fake like it until I get there. I'm gonna act like I got money until I actually have money. But then it's just like, well, how much money is that? What else besides that? Good looks, that's not all. Too many people got good looks. Sorry, I'll let you know, you know, I'm not. You don't want people to see the real you. You don't want people. You don't want people to see the 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 inside of you, the romantic side of you, that passionate side of you. You know that that vulnerable side of you is what I feel like. That emotional side of you. You don't want people to see that. You don't want you don't want people to see the real drive and the real push and a real cool person that you can be because you you putting on this facade and this is why people are being pushed away from you. So if people are being pushed away from you or you feel like you just you you having fallouts with people, it's because you're putting on the facade that you want them to see. And when they don't see it, because it's really not there from the beginning, they're looking like, well. It's like you told us if we came to the party, it would be food here. We got here and it was just napkins and spoons, but it wasn't no food. You know what I'm saying? And see, you don't want to show this to the person that you with. Maybe because the person that you with, you know, they ignorant. Maybe, you know what? Maybe you thought, maybe you thought you could fool them and you did. And then they fooled your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a relationship that has to do with, um, maybe this is a, a, a romantic relationship. It could be like a relationship with a mother to a son or like a father to a daughter. You know what I'm saying? But this can also mean like a baby mama, I feel like, or like somebody maybe that you have a baby with. It's like you weren't really shown. It's like you got with them not really showing your true self and maybe you had this family with them maybe you had this life with them and then when you started really showing who you were without the mask it kind of made them change because once you changed they changed but by this time you already had the baby maybe you had the family maybe you had you know what I'm saying? Something else with this person, baby daddy, whatever. And what is this two of wands? What are you what are you thinking about? What are you not making a decision on? Because I feel like you in between decisions and it's hard for you to make a choice. About being happy. It's like you in between either being happy, being enlightened or your mind on delay. It's like you're going to either be in denial or you're going to block whatever good that you're trying to get to. But I feel like Scorpio signs are fixed as well. So with them being a fixed sign, it's just like when I feel like this, this is how I feel. You can't easily change. You can't easily change a Scorpio. And it's like it's out of sight out of mind it's like it's do you stay or are you or are you just completely withdrawn i feel like you're completely withdrawn like it's like maybe you're happy a little bit but then you're also very withdrawn i don't feel like you're happy no i take that back i don't feel like you're happy i feel like you're withdrawn and like now you don't it's like now you don't really want this relationship you know, now you don't want this relationship. See, you don't want success in this relationship. See, and then at the bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you feel like you're losing out. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Scorpio. Y'all, I told y'all, y'all were out. A new start is coming. Maybe you need to leave the person that you with. Maybe they deserve somebody else. Maybe they didn't deserve to be lied to. Maybe they didn't deserve to be cheated or deceived maybe you didn't maybe you didn't deserve it maybe you didn't deserve it maybe you want to do better by this person you know maybe you want to you just don't know how 
But either way, it's just, I always kind of get, it's like you do dumb things for the right reason. You know, I feel like you do dumb things for the right reason. Like, but it's just kind of one of them situations where it's like, it's like, I feel like you guys are, unfortunately, and I'm not being biased. I just know how some Scorpios, how a lot of Scorpios are. And I just feel like a facade was put on. You got with somebody. You tried to keep it together and you tried to deal with competitions that may have came your way because whoever you deal with is not going to be. I feel like y'all got standards sometimes. Maybe y'all don't have standards. I don't know. I don't know the type of people Scorpios deal with. I just know I can't deal with them. I don't really know who can deal with them. Um, and that's just being completely honest. I know I'm overbearing and a lot of people can't deal with me, which I'm perfectly fine with that, but I'm just saying, you know, it is what it is. But let's go ahead and because that's pretty much y'all's story, you know. Scorpio. Let's see what y'all our astrology book has to say about y'all because I tell you what I tell you what y'all are something else Scorpio okay here we go <clears throat> excuse me October 24th to November 22nd planet Pluto symbol the scorpion gender feminine element water quality fixed this is a fairly confusing sign as it is a feminine water sign which one would be considered to be weak and gentle but scorpios are far from weak and not at all for and not all of them and not all of them excuse me let me just start that over this is a fairly confusing sign as it is a feminine water sign which one would consider to be weak and gentle but Scorpios are far from weak and not all of them are gentle. The watery nature of this sign means that Scorpio makes decisions based on the way they feel at any specific time, heart over head. They also believe or profess to believe in one set of rules on one day and completely different set on the next day. They are extremely sensitive and prone to being hurt and upset. So they go to great lengths to hide their vulnerable side and to keep others from hurting them. This is a passionate all or nothing sign. And these people can take things to the limit. For instance, Scorpios can be very abstemious, abstemious, or heavy drinkers. They can be thrifty and frugal or absolute spendthrifts. They can be generous in some ways and selfish in others. Some are kind and helpful and others aren't. Or they can change from one thing to the other according to their mood. Nobody is more charming and hospitable when they want company, but they can be difficult when they don't. Scorpios are very persuasive, which makes them excellent salespeople or counselors. But this can tip over into manipulative behaviors or even subtle form of bullying. Many are drawn to work in the areas of health and healing, which may take them into established medical fields or into some kind of alter alternative or complementary therapy. And there can be excellent, they can be excellent psychic healers. The sign has a powerful sense of intuition and it can see through people. Hmm. So this makes Scorpios excellent detectives, investigators, and lawyers. Some find their way into the armed forces. These people take their work seriously and often work very hard, possibly because they seek the respect and approval of others. That's what we were talking about, y'all. That's exactly what we were talking about, okay? Hmm. Let's see, Scorpios enjoy being the power behind the throne, which someone else occupying the hot seat, which is partly due to the lack of confidence. 
Many people of this sign work in finances and banking, often in the capacity where they advise others on how to handle mortgage loans, overdrafts, insurance, pension schemes, and so on. Others are so solicitors who specialize in wills and trust funds. Scorpio's voices are the best feature as they are often low, well-modulated, and cultured, and they use them well when in the mood to persuade others. <laughs> These people are neither as highly sexed or as difficult as most astrology books make them out to be, but they do have their passions, even if there is not always a way for sex itself. And didn't I say that, y'all? Like, I, I recently just got this book, and I started reading kind of like through it, so I didn't read every sign. But didn't I say that? Even if there's not always a way, like I said, a Scorpio would be the type of person, they may, they may, they may not physically cheat, like they may not step out and go and physically have sex with somebody, but they'll definitely watch somebody get undressed or will just look at major booty, like walk past just in a, I don't want to say in a disrespectful way, but like they'll watch, even if they don't touch, you can look, but you don't touch. Oh, I'm looking too. I might not touch, but you damn sure I'm looking, you know what I'm saying? So, and they like to be thought of as sexy. Hmm. They love to shock and can enjoy testing others, but they also make kind-hearted and loyal friends and great hosts. Some Scorpios love animals and are very good with them, while others are wonderful with small children and love nothing better than to play with them. Most enjoy family life, especially when children and grandchildren come along. All right, let's see the final attribute. Many Scorpios have a direct and quiet magnetic gaze meaning to look i guess yes because that's what they will do they will look but they won't touch and they're very secretive so you just never know what that person on the opposite side of you is thinking you know what i'm saying so let's just talk scorpio um in relations to this um even the most intuitive need guidance and as a qualified and um, certified spirit guide. I will say, stop putting on a facade. You don't have to. You don't have to. You got celebrities out here that literally take buses and trains with regular people, and then they got to cover up and act like they not them. They just a look alike. Oh, so and so say I look like him or her all the time. Okay. It's not me just until I get where I need to be. And then I'm Kendrick Lamar. And then I'm J. Cole. And then I'm Rihanna or who, whoever the fuck, you know, people of high stature, you know. I got me a lookalike on purpose. I got people to look for me a lookalike. You know what I'm saying? But you, Scorpio, don't have to do that. You don't have to put on a facade, not even a little bit. Because my thing is, who cares? Like, I don't be understanding people who care more about the things that how people feel about them. It's just like, why do you care? You don't know how a person really feel about you. You know what I'm saying? You really don't never know, but it's just like, why do you care so much? He don't like how I dress. He don't like how my haircut look. He don't like the tattoos that I have on my arm. I don't give a fuck. I didn't live for you. I didn't live to do the things you wanted me to do. I didn't live for that. And if you got children, your children did too. Okay, your children don't live for you. People don't live for y'all. People don't live for y'all. So there's no reason for you to have to manipulate or make yourself seem like you are more or less than what you genuinely are because people will see it. And you have to understand too, Scorpio, that and you have to understand too, Scorpio, that everybody is not going to like you. I don't care what kind of Gucci belt. I don't care how many gold chains. I don't care. You're still broke. And most people don't really care. Like people don't care. If you got a Gucci belt, more people are going to hate than they care. And if that's what you want, then say that. Say you want people to dislike you. Say you want people to hate you because of the great things that you have. 
You don't want people to do that. You want people to love you for the things that you have. You want people to respect you for the things that you have. You don't want people to 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 want to be out here trying to take from you because of what you have. You know what I'm saying? Just change your way of thinking. Stop feeling like you can go out here and get you an outfit from an off-brand store, okay? And get dressed. And somebody will be like, damn, that outfit was fresh as fuck. And they don't even know where you got the shit from, but they still like it. They don't know where you got it from, but they still like it. And will still dap you up, will still respect you. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, if people can't respect you, if people can't respect you for what you already have or what you can afford, then you don't need them. But understand, there are always going to be people in this world that do better than you. Always. Always. There's always going to be somebody that looks good too. Okay? This is why you have so many options. Because you know it's more than one person out here. You know it's more than one person that look good. You know it's more than one person that got more money. But you can't be trying to keep up with them. All you can do is live your life. Collect your money, do what you will with it, but don't be out here trying to overflex. And then just because y'all are quiet, don't mean that y'all don't have an arrogance to you. Because you can be loud or you can be quiet and still be arrogant, which I feel like a lot of y'all are. A lot of y'all got sharp tongues and a lot of y'all just, y'all, uh, a lot of y'all are selfish and unfair. You know, a lot of y'all are selfish and unfair. And then you all just kind of have this, this like attitude that, you know, I'm portraying myself to be this person. So you need to respect me as the person I'm trying to portray. But it's like, you're really not that person. For instance, it's like a doctor playing the role of, of it's like a, a, a actor playing the role of a doctor right and you and you know that this actor is not really a doctor if a medical situation occurred and your family literally needed a, a blood transfusion you're not going to go to that actor and say hey i know you be acting like a doctor on tv but i need you to be a doctor right now they're going to look at you like you motherfucker crazy why because you're not really a doctor you just portrayed yourself on tv to be i'll give you another perfect example low down dirty shame okay with 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 um what's her name um jada pickett you know what i'm saying in the beginning of the movie kind of in the beginning of the movie where she go to the um she goes to the store and then she she buy all of that stuff for her and shame or whatever and then she's like oh my god and whoever the dude's name was and so she she went after the dude chad 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 from as the heart turns and then she punched him and she was like that's what you get for dog and donna and if you think something 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 you better watch your back and she punched the dude and the thing is he was an actor he really didn't do all of them things in real life it was just an act but she took it as it was serious and she literally punched this man she assaulted this man in broad daylight in front of cameras in front of people and it was just like but you was wrong whether you felt right about it you were wrong and the thing is if you go into a situation deceptive the whole situation is like void if you go in it with deception and negative intent the whole it's not going to be the first part going to be good just because you're portraying it to be good because all of that good that happened that led up to that negative happening then it's going to be like all of that good was for nothing all of it was for nothing all of that good they were showing all of that was fake all of that was not real and so you're going to get the negative look at you anyway but if you do right by people, people will say, oh, well, damn, he don't, shit, he might not get his clothes from Gucci, but that nigga stay dressing. Or, that, or she stay dressing. Shoot, 
uh, be in Forever 21 all of the time. Forever 21 got her looking like, okay. Okay, she went to, she went to, uh, 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 who else do we have? She went to Ross and got the cutest little shorts I done seen or got the cutest little graphic tee or got the, the most rare or unique shirt I've ever seen. And look at my shirt, y'all, by Miss Dallas. It didn't even look like this, right? It was a um, it looked like a sticker, and she's and she did some some type of sewing it on here, and it got like this uh this uh tag on it made in the USA or whatever, and it was just like a piece of something, and it had a, um it had some weed rolled up. And it was, what is the name of them people? The Beatles or something like that, I think. It was like the Beatles, but it was like wine, uh, a rolled up blunt or whatever like that. And I washed it and this is what happened to it. And you know what? I love it like this. Miss Dallas, can you make me another one? Shout out to you. <laughs> but yes, y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? But yes, like, Stop feeling like you got to be better than everybody. Stop feeling like you got to be in competition with everybody. Stop feeling like you have to always be on top because you're not. You're not. Nine times out of 10, you broke. I don't care if you got 100,000 in your account, you still broke. I don't care if you got 500,000 in your account, you still broke. You still ain't got no motherfucking money. Okay. And even if you got $1,000 to your name, you really, you poor. You are poor, poor. You might as well be homeless. Okay. And that's really, and that's really how it is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, uh, don't nobody got no money like that. If you're not in a hundred thousands, millions, billions club, you don't have no money. Okay. And a lot of us, especially right now, cannot be affording to live no high life. Utilize what you have and make what you have better. If you don't like your clothes, change up how you wear your clothes. Get them same clothes and change up how you wear them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do when when I noticed that my clothes I felt like was like outdated and nobody would wear it. I was like, well, let me just change how I wear it. And so some shirts that I would have, I tie up in the front, okay? Or I cut some holes in it, maybe bleach the shirt. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And wear it with something I normally wouldn't wear it with. You know what I'm saying? And so that helped me because people would be like, oh, that's a cute little outfit. Where you get that from? Or where you come up with that at? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, utilize what y'all have. A lot of time y'all be too afraid to utilize the stuff y'all have. Y'all can't be weak hearted like that. Y'all not weak people. But y'all do weak things because people are going to look at you as weak for putting on a facade, especially if they can read you. And y'all be feeling like y'all so smart that other people stupid. People know what you be doing. Like, I'm really talking to you as a friend right now. And I'm only talking to the people who this apply to. People who really need to hear this and really need to make the change. Like, if I'm not honest with you, then what the fuck am I doing here talking to you for? Like, I'm not NBC News. I'm not CBS News, allegedly. Be giving fake information. Do be giving fake information. Man, fuck that. Be do be giving fake information. Don't be knowing what they be talking about. Be out here lying like the like the, the presidential uh, Democrats. Okay, all of them be lying and don't be telling the truth. So, yes, um, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. But... For the most part, Scorpio, stop putting on a facade. Just be your damn self. And it might be hard. And if that is you, transition, change. Make a difference. Make a difference not only for you, but make a difference for the people around you. Because what you do not only affects you, but it also affects the people around you. Okay? Make sure you all follow me on all my other social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Desi DC, flicking on my big... Facebook, Desiree AC, YouTube, Desiree AC. Also, if you want to hear the podcast, it's on Buzzsprout, okay? And just type in flicking on my big, or you can just hit the link in my Instagram. Um, make sure you all give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, because I love, love, love to talk to you guys. And um, 
Until then, Scorpio, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll talk to you guys soon.